Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play. My name is Saiken and today we're going to reimmerse ourselves in the world of Jagged Alliance 3. I absolutely like the game, uh, therefore I figured we're going to play it again, but this time with a bit of a twist. After the blind playthrough I learned a lot, I designed a couple of guides, I played uh, behind the scenes and now it is time for a solo run. We're going to do Mission Impossible with all of the nasty features enabled and we're going to do that with a lone wolf run. So this is going to be Mission Impossible, No Forgiving, Dead is Dead, To the Bitter End, Level Weapons Run, No Mods, uh, and uh, just a lot of courage in order to enter the game. So Lone Wolf in this game is a dedicated achievement so there is kind of a definition of how that works and set achievement says at any time you can only hire one mercenary maximum which means technically we can switch mercenaries and that kind of uh, brings up the age-old question uh, do we want to go for an IMP mercenary or are we going with a predefined mercenary and I think since the IMP does not offer the special trait of a predefined mercenary, uh, we actually go with a predef mercenary. Um, I was thinking before uh, doing this challenge, are we going with Igor Dolvich and just use his uh, grid in order to uh, build a mad melee killing machine? Um, but then I uh, figured uh, that might not be good enough. But he does have decent mechanical abilities and decent marksmanship and all around decent stats. The other option that I thought about was Ice. The Ice Storm is really good and can help us to get through quite a bit. Another option that I thought about was Blood. I like his flying daggers. They penetrate heavy armor and uh, they always offer a movement option. And uh, I landed on Ivan Dolwich, uh, which is not available, so let's do this again. No forgiving mode, yes, 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 and no, no, let's start the game. Because Ivan is the one that I wanted to use. <laughs> right, he's offline again. Well, that is very unlucky. Third time is the charm. Yes, yes, yes. No, and here we go. Finally. Very good. So, why Ivan? Ivan does have, you see Igor, as a perk, which allows Ivan to regain a 3 AP per kill. And that, I think, will make Ivan an absolute killing machine. Um, also, he's good with auto weapons and he has subsequent uh, accuracy bonuses. So I think we can fire oftentimes from the hip and still be relatively okay. With an AK, low condition loss, really good stats all around, fantastic marksmanship. The only thing that uh, sucks is his mechanical uh, trade not really that good the rest however is okay so let's see if we're hiring him for um, for nine days whether or not this is going to be successful I have a little bit my doubts but we're going to find out whether this here is possible A lot of the run will, I, move. I think, consist of me That's just true. trying to avoid enemies. Yeah. But uh, since we need to kill of enemy. the um, three move. main enemy characters, this is not going to be a simple uh, stealth run. We actually need to be able to deal with large amounts of enemies. Oh, perfect, that already sets a good tone for the run. 
if we're missing the first shot. Good. Goon hits us. More goons are coming up. Fantastic. Take that guy down. Single shot into the head. And we cannot heal. That's a problem. But we can hide. Uh, that is almost as good as healing. So wait for the other guy to come up. Okay, well, we're not seeing the last guy. Never mind, now we're seeing him. He's sort of running away instead of towards us. Good, let's move up. Take cover here. Are you kidding me? Is he running up the hill and getting murdered by the guards? Well, that would save us ammunition. Okay, at least he stays with us. I don't want to get others involved. Uh, we're a little bit outside of our range. So let's move over here. And try that again. Come on, Ivan, what is wrong with you? There we go, finally. Okay, did these guys drop anything? Potentially. We need to uh, gather whatever we can. Let's run. Will depend a bit on us making ends meet with whatever we find. So far it's not that much, but uh, that might change. I need a med kit and I need a lot of um, herbs to refill it. Good. There is some loot up here. That's not bad. We can use glow sticks uh, later for shock and awe. Um, or what's the perk called? Uh, breach and clear. For breach and clear, which will allow us to throw them and get free movement. Do we need backup armor? Yes, but not that kind of armor. Let's talk to Bastion real quick. Tell us about the Legion. Yep, you're with the Legion. Hand over your diamonds. Thank you. But we're going to very much hold on to them because uh, they will be used for loot crates later. And finally, there's our... There's our ability to bandage our wounds. Great. Ivan isn't perfect in medical, but he will learn it over time. Okay, 
We just need a really nice, well modified weapon, I guess. You, Miss Lafontaine's mess. Go on inside. Thank God, then I'm. I am so. Good. We're going to take um, the money because we need every little dollar in order to keep Yvonne as our employee. I look more here. I know we can hack this. Unfortunately, it seems to not work out. Yeah, Ivan is not good enough. And we can't really open that here either. Missing the crowbar. Too bad. Well, let's continue and start clearing the first few sectors, shall we? Ivan versus six of uh, them. That should be doable for us. Is there anything up here? No. The biggest problem that I would see is the moment that we're going to fight against multiple enemies uh, they will have the option to just swarm us. At that point when we are being hit it, uh, in our arms we will be inaccurate or suppressed and that can cause a lot of problems so we need to take out as many of them at the beginning as possible good lots of mats which we will need for this run But let's hide behind this stone here. Should I use bursts instead? I don't know. Take cover and next turn we're going to hit them. We are in full cover. They have a higher chance of hitting each other than hitting us. And luckily all of them just have pistols, so we're okay. That'll change very soon when they no longer have pistols. Good. Continue to heal ourselves, we've taken 6 points of damage, uh, 3 points, sorry. Fantastic, they continue to hit each other. Very nice. Let's continue to heal ourselves. Got some medical. Move to here, hide, move back, take cover, and let them come a little bit closer. They don't see us, or at least he should not be able to see us. Must be careful. 
Okay, some ammunition. And that's about it. A grenade is good. We can use that, but only in dire circumstances. For now, I would just collect them. Enemy force located locally. But we want to get the sniper down first. The other goon does have a pistol. There we go. One down. We prepare to be attacked. Move to here and take cover. Oh, he wants to flank us. You want to play dirty. Well, two can play that game, my friend. Okay, so far even is going through very easy enemies uh, without problems, but I am concerned. As enemies become harder, it might not be that easy. Good, let's grab the loot. And see what we're going to do. Unfortunately, we don't have a crowbar. Nice, we got a Gewehr. All right, let's go for Pert Ernie. Night and raining, not the best conditions for this fight. Enemy force located locally. If I ever touch the alpha with writing Legion go home on the wall, I'll cut his fingers off and make him write it with his own fucking blood. Yeah, the villageois need to respect us. Fuck the respect. They keep writing it wrong. What? Really? They do have automatic weapons, don't like that. Let's make sure the third guy isn't with them. A guy with a pistol is likely not a problem. The guy with the automatic rifle, however, is. We're at zero, so there's nothing we can do here. Oh, come on. Good, free movement into full cover. Automatic rifle. First, the time the legion is to have truly lived. and we're continuing our healing at the end of the turn strategy. Can out heal pistols. Currently inaccurate. guy is severely wounded so we should be fine by just killing him very good a couple of things um, our med kit let's just refill don't want to find myself in the middle of a fight and then we don't have meds left over that's 
Так точно. I find the thing. Second problem that I'm seeing is the Gewehr, as nice as it is, only has 74 uh, um, condition. So it might break at some point. Agents of enemy. Is that trigger? No, it does not. Running a bit closer. And there we go. Okay, so far so good. Took all of them down. We got ourselves some money for regaining the poor. Got a lot of ammunition, but we don't have a great way of repairing weapons, unfortunately. So unless we're finding mechanical uh, books, we're going to be in a bit of a troublesome situation. And I definitely need a silencer on this weapon as well. So, if you he will give us uh, the quest for uh, the MG, but I'm not sure if we're going to do that. Uh, the guards of the MG are actually veteran warriors, so they are very, very nasty. And you can't really lure them into the town here. Would be something different if we could simply ask them to come into our town here. And then we're going to use some of the locals here. Yeah, likely not going to do anything with her husband either. Because he's in the middle of a minefield. It's a nice and I'm sure. If Herman had that touch now. Good, I'm pretty sure that is what we got here. There isn't so much more. So let's move on. Can't really run any operations uh, that would allow us to repair the weapons because uh, Evan's mechanical skill is not high enough so whatever we're finding is effectively what we're going to get so let's uh, frame Bastion and tell him to put his hands up uh, yeah you guys drop your guns Cool. That is good loot. The MP40, not so much. We can immediately scrap that. But that's a reserve AK. Definitely needs repair. Uh, I was hoping we could do some cheap upgrades that are not impossible just to teach him some mechanical points. Ooh, beautiful. 
That's good, but it will not allow us to freely move anymore. Next question that I'm asking myself is could we sneak into that bunker and get the MG? Potentially not. But I can get as many herbs as possible and then get out of here. I don't want to fight with them. Like I said, the moment that you're triggering the fight, reinforcements will start to spawn. And these guys are really tough. Good, which sort of brings us to the actual mission. Moving into that outpost against 13 enemies. So that's not going to be easy either. But we are Ivan. Nothing is going to be easy, my friend. Nothing. Okay, well, we're tired. I can't. I can. All right, we're retreating. Good, let's just wait until this here is uh, over. I need him to be at full force, not tired. I need the free movement. Okay, Legion Outpost, clear weather. So we do have Pierre. Uh, one way that, uh, or one th uh, idea that I'm thinking about is to simply cut uh, the wire open and take the machine gun. But I think the machine gun needs repair, and I'm not sure if our mechanical will be good enough in order to do that. But we're going to find out. I think this loot box was trapped. Agents of enemy. Definitely need to deal with that Buster Man relatively soon. All right, as expected, that is not going to work out. I mean, look, he does have explosives, so maybe we can move around the mines, so I don't want to trigger them. How much does he, uh, does he have? 55, that actually might not be too bad for starter mines. I've never tested whether or not he can disarm them, but he might be able to spot them.
I guess we're going to find out very soon. Hmm. You should be able to spot them already. Uh, they are a lot. Uh, it's been a long time that I've been here, uh, so I don't remember them in detail. We could move around here cut our way in here and then take uh, the camp from the other side. I think that's the play here. I think that's the play. Of course during night uh, this whole operation would be a bit easier from a sneaking perspective. But we can't just run into 13 enemies and expect that to go well. I sneak. Good. So the idea is to first of all take the high ground and see that we can take out the enemies. Got a couple of explosives down there which could help us. Do we have a knife? Yes, we do. one is at least silent. Good, one down. Door is locked. Oh, of course the door is locked. Mechanical check failed. Unfortunately for failed mechanical check you are not getting any Benefit so other than a loss in tool, nothing happens. Cool, so scrap that, get us a new AK if needed. Even say K has some modification on it, so that's good. I have to wonder. This is the easiest one, but it already says impossible. Yeah. I need to think how we're going to deal with the whole weapon modification uh, aspect. Alright, someone found a dead body. That of course is 
not so good. Uh, that person needs to uh, would be out there. We're still hidden for now. Okay, carefully moving to here. Nothing. Still taking cover and hiding. Has anyone passed us? Good, that helps a lot. Um, all right, just in case if that guy comes around the corner. Hmm. Yeah, take cover. Hasn't spotted us yet. Enemies haven't really caught up uh, with us yet. I wonder if we're even better off moving up here. Hide is never a wrong decision. Move to here. Switch to the AK and take cover for now. I sneak kill now. Good. Comrade Ivan, let's get up here. a great position up here but I'm not sure if there are plenty of enemies around but there is no one in here I know there was one guy on the balcony down here. I Good, we're not going to reveal our position yet. This guy is taking cover and that's fine. Let's just double check 
that we're really sure no one is in here. Okay, we are. There's a sniper on the rooftop here. down here I think we're better off uh, at that little balcony they currently don't know where we are and I want to keep it that way if possible let's eliminate someone inside of the house There are definitely a few enemies down here, but I'm not sure if they if someone made it in inside of the house. Why I would think that the inside of the house is beneficial for us is because it breaks line of sight automatically. And we don't have to deal with the others. Good, no one here. Unfortunate. So this guy went inside of the house. Which means we might be able to get our way uh, to the sniper or we're attacking from this side you know what I just convinced myself that we're attacking from this side Enemy at this point should not know where we are. Unfortunately, none of them are standing here. They seem to have all gone into one direction. Good, which means we're just needing to snipe them. Ivan moves up. typically one guy over here but I think that he had moved up there just double checking to make sure that we're not being stepped in the back if they spotted us Maybe, yep. Yeah. Yes, yes. Not not maybe, Saiken. Yes. Alright, let's... 
teach them a lesson. How much would it take to go to here? Three. Five to full cover. Alright. That works well. Full cover and hide. Were stupid, they could not shoot worth a damn. What is happening? Tell you what is happening. We're starting to get every single one of you down one by one. That is happening. Okay, let them come a little bit closer. Or let us realize that they are not interested in coming closer. Well, we're hidden. So we're good. Let's try this. Five enemies there. Out of curiosity. Hmm. Let's go. Almost dead. And we're uh, laying down, breaking line of sight. still in range no we're a little bit out of range but we're well in range for our sniper rifle let's take over a couple of uh, points to the next turn Careful with Pierre, he is very strong in melee, don't want that to happen. A couple of grazing shots is okay. And his head is well armored. I cannot promise this shot. Not good. I check gun for dirt. We're healing it. Uh, we're healing ourselves, and we're still in cover. PS guard is uh, using an SMG, so that's far too far for an SMG. This guy, however, is close enough. We're now suppressed. That's a problem. And we're inaccurate, which is an even bigger problem. Get the guard. Nice little hit. And we're healing ourselves. Let the mages 
Yeah, they are running gunning and are getting all close and personal. Yeah, it's the real problem because he hits very well. And always hits our arm, apparently. It's not a bad spot to heal and to reset because we are inaccurate for this turn. Oh wow, Pierre is a problem. This should uh, explode the generator. It will take more than that. Kill me. Ivan begins or oh, continues to heal himself. Right here, bit of free movement. Don't just run around, fight them. I sneak kill now. Won't die yet. Good hit. And we're going back into full cover. Go. Of course, we're suppressed. That's not good. Pierre has plenty of wounds, Ivan, however, does have plenty as well. No! No, I can't be! I... I surrender! Yeah, before anyone surrenders, let's... move away here. Good, we're hiding, just moving away from the car, which is about to explode. I hide. Good, Ivan heals himself. We're up to six wounds. Uh, 
Um, let's get that back. Reloading. Another reload and taking cover. Let's use our range advantage. I sneak. Moving back to here. We haven't spotted anyone, that is not good. Further taking cover. Very nice. Let us immediately do untraceable. I think that's going to be a good choice for us. an idiot for commander uh, so far you're doing quite well even Pretty sure there is still a sniper up there. I have but on the bright side, there can't be that many enemies left. I must have gotten the most of them. He does know that we're here. Are we in optimal range? No, we're a bit too far still away. Still a bit too far away. I sneak kill now. Okay, conflict resolved. Very, very nice. I find the thing. Так точно. Так, так, что здесь? What a tough battle. Another Gavir. And we got some ammo piercing round. 
uh, rounds, so we're going to use them, of course. Yeah. I think this one was not trapped, but I might be wrong. I shall pack the ammunition, that's super important. And you've seen grenades can be a lifesaver. This one was trapped, I remember. More knives. This fire mercenary. And this time you will need to die. We've let, let him go the last time, but we can't do that again. He has an absolute fresh AK, which is great. Um, I think we don't need three AKs. I wonder. Should we try to modify one of them? If so, I would love to go for a suppressor. That's the only thing that we really need. Good old suppressor. Yeah, but I think we're just going for extra parts at this point. Got a spare AK, if need be. Oh, and an M14. Uh, that isn't bad either, but it is in pretty bad shape. So I think what we're going to do is we're scrapping that as well. I move. Yeah. There is there are explosives Russia. down here, but apparently not available for Ivan. Okay, we're doing fine, I would say. All things considered. I move. Oh, beautiful. Uh, marksmanship? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we got partial packed hollow point rounds, uh, which will have no armor penetration but bleeding chance. And I tell you what, now at the beginning, we might just fully load them. Got a new Kevlar armor. The other one is almost falling into pieces. Yeah, overall good loot and we got ourselves 12,000, which will sustain us for a few more days. That way Ivan is fine. Is there anything else that we have forgotten? No, there is not. Which means we're going to make up uh, our way to Ernie. And that marks the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we are off for a great start. Uh, now it's just a matter of uh, pushing forward. Thanks again for watching and take care everyone. Bye bye.